Hi everyone, I am back with Supernatural episode 19. We're still on season one, but we are almost on to season two. Um, the last few episodes have really been deep. Um, I, I really like where this show is going. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I know you guys can tell my joy when, oh my God, what the hell? That's a feather, okay. I thought it might have been a spider. I think you guys can tell my joy. You can see it. You can feel it. I, I really like this show so much. Sam and Dean cannot get enough of them. And I just watched this really I'm annoying podcast just to see. I'm not going to even say who was on, what the podcast was. But I was just like, ugh, ugh. I need to wash my, my eyes out and my mouth out and everything out, my ears. I don't know why my mouth, but I'm, ugh. I need to watch some awesome brothers kicking some demon ass, being helpful to humanity and just trying to be good human beings because holy cow, the things that are like on, the things that are popular right now the the things that young young men are watching are like looking up to like the people on who have specific podcasts and the guests that they have on and it, the fact that people can't tell when something is um uh satirical and not a hundred percent real and they just take it at face value and not uh, these people not either not knowing their influence or just don't care because they're making a lot of money. It's really frightening. And i am that's all I will say about that. But I will say, I just watched a, a little bit of that podcast just to kind of see, because I was just like, maybe, maybe there's something, something, something positive. And then I was like eight minutes in and I was like, holy cow, okay. So I went to the comment section and then I thought, yeah, I would see like a majority of comments being like, yeah, these people are crazy. And then I saw the majority of comments saying, no, no, no this is awesome. This is, they're spitting facts and wisdom. And I'm like, okay, yeah, the world is really going into a very terrifying place. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's the world, but definitely the social media world and whoever is on social media um, and takes everything at face value. It's not a. It's not good. It's just not good. Um, yeah. But anyways, Sam and Dean, here we are. I'm here. I'm. I'm excited. <laughs> like I said, I need to watch this. I need to wash my eyes out with some beauty, some beauty, beauty, beauty on the screen. All right, I think I've got everything set up here. Um, you can follow me on Patreon if you would like to have early access, full timer reactions, all that good stuff. Um, we're like, I'm several weeks ahead there. So if you're interested, you can join. Those links are down in my description box below. And don't forget to like these videos. That really helps with the algorithm. Also comments, but likes truly, truly help. Click that like, click that bell, all that good stuff. Let's do this. Let's jump into this. This reminds me of the Bly Manor. Whoever that dude is, is looking off very uh, suspiciously. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. Ew. What is he okay. doing to his daughter? I'll keep you safe. <laughs> That's what makes, gets you guys going? Of course. Of course. What is he going to do? No, oh, he's like, I want to go up there and see what's up with that woman. <laughs> Eek! Eek! Ew! <laughs> She's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, get the lights. I can't see a thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. She's gone. Uh, please, God. Whoa! God, well at least he's at least he killed him because he would have been suspect number one. Seven, four, two, zero. Deeny weeny deeny weeny. Dean's gonna push me over to Sam. 
it's like one of those, it's inevitable that I'm going to, I'm going to fall for Sam. She's got a friend over there. He'll probably hook you up. What do you think? Dean, uh, no thanks. I can get my own dates. Yeah, you can, but you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. What do you got? Mark and Antelope. But why does he have to get a date? There were no prints, no murder weapons. All oh, Dean. No prints, <laughs> he can't no even. Weapons, all doors and windows were locked. He got her number. He doesn't even care. He's looking. Ladies, did you miss me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen, I talked to my producer. My producer. <laughs> it's like the garage sale of a wasp. Can, you ask me? Mm -hmm. Can I help you, gentlemen? <laughs> like some champagne, please. <laughs> He's not a waiter. <laughs> I'm Sam Connors. It's my brother Dean. Wow. Jesus. Your art dealers. That's right. Oh, finally. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Man, these people suck. Let them get killed off. A fine example of American primitive, wouldn't you say? Here we go. The whole thing's pretty grisly, if you ask me, selling their things this soon. Yeah, what is that about? You're not on the guest list. And I think it's time to leave. Well, we don't have to be told twice. Apparently you do. <laughs> it's all right. We don't want any trouble. We'll go. Daddy, why do you always yeah, do that? Rude. You always do that. You always scare away the men I like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I wish they could fight some ghosts in here. That would be hilarious. Sarah. Yeah. Maybe you can get her to write it all down on a cocktail now. <laughs> Maybe uh, you maybe. can, <laughs> Sam. No, 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 no. Pickups are your thing, Dan. Yeah, but she was into you. Nice place. Yeah. Why does this seem more awkward? It was like there was some chemistry going on in the art uh, auction, but now it's a little awkward. The wine list. <laughs> This place is going to be, like, extra expensive. I don't know about Romeo here, but I'll have a beer. There you go. I think that too. Certainly. So, what did you mean when you said you hadn't been on a date in a while? Trying to make me feel like I'm not such a loser? I'm sure you're many things, Sam. I'm also sure loser. Sam is, it's interesting, Sam attracts a lot of um, high-quality women. You're a reasonably attractive guy. <laughs> <laughs> reasonably. Why haven't you been out and about? Well, um, very tough to explain. Another long story for another time. She surprised me. I feel like she's, I thought she would be like very, really stuck up, but she's actually cool. So what do you think? It's haunted or cursed? Either way, it's toast. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, this is not going to be a good look. When I forget her name, but when if they have like um, video cameras, she's like, so you guys are thieves? Do you think, you don't think they need the whole, the whole frame? Yes, me, we're doing the art world a favor. <laughs> Oh man, I feel like there's so much more to this though. It's coming back. Wow. That's that's so scary. We got a problem. I can't find my wallet. How's that my problem? Because I think I dropped it in the warehouse last night. Oh shit. No oh, man. How do you lose your wallet, Dean? <laughs> hey guys! Sarah. Oh my god. You know, we came to say goodbye. Oh, what are you talking about, Sam? We're sticking around for at least another day or two. Go ahead and give you that 20 bucks I owe you. I always forget, you know. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what? They need to be here anyways. I had a good time last night. Yeah. Yeah. I did too. Maybe we should do it again sometime. Oh, I feel so bad. She seems really great. Oh, that's too bad. Oh my God! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Don't tell me you're interested in that. No, no, God, no, not in buying it. No. You know what? I gotta go. I gotta take care of something. Oh yeah, maybe you guys should buy it. So you're not leaving tonight? 
Oh, oh man, so. this sucks. They're mi- uh, she doesn't, she deserves better. All right, so we need to figure out everything there is to know about that creepy ass family and that creepy ass painting. <laughs> mm. Yes, yeah, that sounds about right. The whole family was killed? Did you see what happened to the bodies? It's just that they were all cremated. Well, his face is looking forward this time. The dad's face. But in that, he's looking Dad, down at the daughter. You promised you wouldn't sell that painting. I know, sweetie, but Evelyn's offered a persuasion. I know, sweetie, money. But, mo- yeah, but money. Money talks. You can get some more time to crush on your girlfriend. Dude. I, but it's... What? what? Yeah, Ever this isn't fair. Here, you've been trying to pimp me out to Sarah. You know, seriously, Sam, this isn't about just hooking up, okay? I mean, I, I, I think that this Sarah girl could be good for you. But it is a hookup, though. I'm sure that this is about Jessica, right? Now, I don't know what it's like <laughs> to lose somebody like that. Dean. But I would think that she would want you to be happy. Me in my grave. <laughs> Me petty as hell. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. Don't you ever. No, I'm just kidding. But I would want, I would, for her, this girl's a good girl. I wouldn't want, if I die, my I want my partner to be with someone who's going to love love them and take care of them. Well, we still got to see that painting, which means you still got to call Sarah, so. But Sarah, yeah, but Sarah wants something like, she doesn't want a, a, a few dates. She wants something more. So I do feel sort of sorry in that front. Hey, Who'd you sell it to? Sarah, I need an address right now. <laughs> I mean, is this another like couple that's going to get turned on? Oh, there. I mean, well, you know, they could still get turned on. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be too late. There's no way. There's no way they can get there in time. Oh my god, that is so scary. Look, you really should wait in the cars for your own gun. The hell I will. Evelyn's a friend. Oh. Evelyn? Evelyn? Is he still gonna be roaming the place? Are you alright? Sarah, don't! Sarah! Oh, wow. That's terrifying. The trauma that this show, <laughs> the people get that get traumatized in this show. Oh, this is embarrassing. He's like, yeah, come in. We're in this disco room. I just lied to the cops and told them I went to Evelyn's alone and found her like that. Thank you. Thank me. <laughs> Dee's face is like, hey, she's good. Sarah, I know this sounds crazy, but we think that that painting is haunted. At least he's being honest. Wherever this thing goes, people die, and we're just trying to stop it. There you go. Well, then I guess you better show me. Coming with you. What? No. Sarah, no, you should just go home. This stuff I... can get dangerous. No, let Sarah go. I actually like her. Look, I'm not saying I'm not scared, because I am scared as hell, but I'm not going to run and hide either. I really like her a lot. So are we going, or what? Sam. So. Well, marry that girl. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like, what the heck? <laughs> Maybe look at the back. Like, there's some something. Sorry, I'm checking out. Maybe they can reach in. The razor. It's, uh, it's like you know the, the Mario game where you could jump into the portraits. Oh, what? Looks like a crypt or a mausoleum. Or something. That's where they're at? Maybe they need to go to their ashes? So this is what you guys do for a living? Yes. Not exactly. Yes, they do. They don't get paid. See, well, (laughs) that's so true. How do they get around? Like, how are they getting money? You notice anything strange here? Uh, where do I start? (laughs) Yeah, what? what I mean, who are the urns? Yeah, there are only four. Yeah, mom and the three kids. Daddy Dearest isn't here. Sam, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Is there something here between us, or am I delusional? 
You're not delusional. But there's a butt coming. Her hair is so healthy looking. It's so pretty. So I shiny. I think this would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Can I ask why? Tell her now, maybe about Jessica. It's just that when people are around me... They die. I don't know, they get hurt. With what my brother and I do, it's... Yeah. This is what I thought. I, I called it in the beginning, like the first or second episode. I was like, this is what it's going to be. I had a girlfriend. And she died. And my mom died too. It's like I'm cursed or something. You're not cursed. Like, That's not what it is. Look, I'm not scared of much, but if I let myself have feelings for anybody. You're scared they get hurt too. She's so pretty. I love her eye color too. I'm talking about life and death. And tomorrow I could get hit by a bus. That's what life is. Is she a lawyer? Like, damn. But when you shut out pain, shut out everything else too. Sarah, you don't understand the pain that I went through. <laughs> I can't go through it again. I understand that. I understand that. That is a lot to ask. That's a lot. Like, he doesn't want to wake up again and look, and she's at the ceiling on fire. That's too much to keep going through. Like, every girlfriend's like, by the way, you might end up on a ceiling dead. Turns out he wasn't cremated. He was buried in a pine box. So there are bones to burn. There are bones to burn. Tell me you know where. <laughs> he does. Okay, good. I like Sarah though. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I want Sarah to be a part of this. <laughs> this isn't exactly the first grave we dug. I still think I'm a catch. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh god. Okay, it's just it's just a skeleton. You've been a real pain in the ass, Isaiah. Let's Good go. Roots. Let's why it's not done, huh? It, we're not finished. Better safe than sorry. But why would you guys come sorry. at night time? You sure? Yeah. I'll stay here. You go make your move. Dean. Same. I'm why? And he's putting the music on, so we can't hear screaming. We're not going to have sex where Evelyn got her head chopped off. You're the expert on all this ghost stuff. Is that painting supposed to look like that? Wait, the, the girl is gone? Don't tell me the girl's been the killer. <laughs> it's the little girl this whole time? I think it might have been her all along. Wasn't the dad looking down at her? Maybe he was trying to warn us. Hey, 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 let's recap later, all right? Just, just get us out of here. Well, I'm trying to That's wild. Wow, so they blamed the death, the murders on the dad? What kind of house doesn't have salt? <laughs> Low sodium freaks. Hey, you find the iron? Floor? Low sodium freaks. The elderly. <laughs> oh my god, no way! <laughs> oh, it's Sparta kicked this little girl. No, no. I'm throwing chairs. Okay, well, maybe not. So wrong. Yeah. You still want to date Sam? Is that iron? Oh my god, come on now. Why? Why that? Why that face? How are we gonna waste her? I don't know, she was like <laughs> How are we gonna waste her? Well, the house is still around. There must be something else. Look, I'm not smart. I don't know anything. I don't know. We used to handle antique dolls at the auction. Well, that's fascinating, Sarah, but important right now. They would use the kid's real hair. Dean? Uh... Sarah's just don't mind the girl's hair. All right, you gotta go. Damn, so they're gonna have to be juking this bitch out all night. And there's bars on the windows. Damn. She should pick up some iron, like, something. Sam? Ah! <laughs> no, I would just... Yeah, how do you break through that? Gun. Gun! Shoot it. Come on, Dean. <laughs> there we go. This is exactly what he was talking about. He was like, I don't want to see a another person I love die. There you go. 
Oh, Sam. I would stomp it. I would shoot it too. <laughs> the merchants adopted daughter Melanie. Know why she was up for adoption? Because her real family was murdered in their beds. Ooh. So then she kills Isaiah and his family. The old man takes blame. The spirit's been trying to warn people ever since. Wow. Where's this one go? Take it out back and They back. said this out loud to all these people. <laughs> they don't care. Do they don't, they're just like, I don't, I'm getting paid for this. I guess this means you're leaving. I don't want us to leave Sarah, okay? I like Sarah. So maybe you're not cursed. Maybe you'll come back and see me. Oh, I feel like oh. crying. I I just, I feel like true love is so important to people. Like it's so, if you find someone that you have a connection with and they're really, they're good, their hearts are good. I just feel like you need to be with those people. I get, I I know Sam needs his space. <gasps> are they gonna, are they gonna kiss? <laughs> yes. Oh. Good. Oh, Sam. Oh, he's like, hmm, I might, might use that later. <laughs> oh. Great episode. Awesome. I feel like every episode is a lot of fun. It's entertaining. It's, it's just great. And then the brothers are always fantastic. This was this was good. I feel like I get Sam. I I think I I don't know. I wouldn't want to go through that either. Like especially with people you love. Like just having there's just no way because you would feel responsible. The first time around, it's kind of like no I, I was he was just having dreams about Jessica potentially, the, you know, getting murdered on the roof, I mean, on the ceiling. Um, but like now he knows that it is, there is a connection to him. Something about him is cause, I wouldn't say causing it, but there's something connected to that, connected to him. So going forward, if he does fall in love with somebody else, that possibility of someone else dying in that same way is, is it's, the probability is, is quite big. So I, I would feel responsible and I, I wouldn't want to have that um, on my head. And like, she she put up, Sarah put up a great argument. She put up a great fight on that. And the back and forth was really awesome. But, and you could see both sides of it. And I agreed with both of them. I just feel like Sam, you know, it's, it is, it's like, I don't know. You, you're asking a lot to, 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 you're asking a lot of Sam, really, because that's, Seeing someone die like that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I think, I think, I don't know. I'm sure we'll see her again. I hope we do. I, I, I mean, there's 15 seasons, so I don't know how this goes, but it would be beautiful to see like relationships blossom between Dean and Sam and they're like, not, I mean, not between them, but I mean, with their like love interests, I don't know if Dean's gonna go back to the girl back in, um, I don't know where, but his love interest, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Um, it, it was nice to see Dean in that light. Uh, it's It was nice to see Sam. And it's so interesting. I, I When I say she's a high quality girl, I don't mean that the girls at the bar are not high quality, I just, Cause like we're all human and we're all equal. That's how it's the truth. It doesn't matter what you do in this world, how much you make, what what decisions you've made in your life. It doesn't make you any better than anybody else. We're all on the even uh, on this even playing field. It's all lies that people say like, oh, if you make this much, if you do this, if you don't do that, you're a much better person and much more high quality. I just meant high quality as in. She's got her shit together. She knows what she's doing. She's, she's like not, I don't know. Maybe high quality is not the best word. I, I don't know. 
I'm not sure what the right word would be, but she's at least just got her shit together and she wants, she wants what she wants, which is a relationship with a good guy. And yeah, her and Sam seem to work out and it's, it's just nice. It's nice to see, like I said, when, when people actually have a real connection and they love, like, you can tell, I mean, they don't love each other yet, but there is a love that can blossom between them, like a pure, beautiful love. And, uh, it's, you want that, I want that for, you know, for, for most people, if that's what you want, you know, like not everyone wants a romantic type of love. Maybe some people just like their solitude and all of that, that's fine too. But if you do want love, and in love like that, I wish that for you. It's it's beautiful to have and um, healing in a lot of ways. So it made me tear up when I saw them kind of like, their, their chemistry was really great. So I liked that. I liked it a lot. Um, I felt like there was something else. Oh, the, I guess the one thing, and I'll probably bring this up again, I may, I, I haven't looked into this, but a few people commented uh, Jared, I believe that's Sam's, that's the actor who plays Sam. Um, a lot of you guys were saying that he went through mental health issues during filming and that he was, he's like a huge advocate on mental health and being really open about that. I haven't looked into that personally myself yet, but I really appreciate that because um, if you're new here, I I talk about like my own struggles with my mental health and um, you know, being diagnosed with autism later in my life. I'm 32 and I was diagnosed like last, was maybe the beginning of this year. No, maybe it was last, no, it was last year. Sometime last year, I can't even remember now, but it's it's been the last like several months, several months ago. And I went through a situation which I'm now thankfully getting out of where I like, really um i lost a lot of weight i was going through it really bad and was just trying to figure out how to <laughs> i was drowning and i was trying to get out of the water and i've made some decisions that were really helpful for my life and for my mental health for my it saved me they're really hard choices and decisions but were necessary and um because I shouldn't be dying. Do you know what I mean? None of us should be in a place where we literally are like deteriorating mentally and physically. Um, so I, it's awesome because like, I do feel this connection to Sam. And so, f cause of just his character, I love how deep he is. He's a very deep thinker. He has these special, the special intuition, this these special powers about him. And I like how he is very patient with, with people. Like he, the last, uh, I don't know if it was episode 14, but that kid who um, also had telekinesis and he was trying to kill his family, um, he talked to him. Like, I love that about Sam. And then to know that he, so, so to see that he, character-wise, is really patient with mental health and then to see how he is as a regular human outside of like acting really touched me. So I'm, it's like, I I feel like I should be watching this show right now. It just feels like that there's this connection here. Um, timing is everything I feel. And uh, just, it's kind of cool. I don't, I'm yeah, it's cool to be watching this show. I really love it. Um, all right, that's it. I, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching with me and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.